The Croatia fans knew this was perhaps their most crucial match of the year. There was only one change. Davy Rezzo was back after a lengthy spell on the sidelines through injury. He replaced the suspended Mark Jones. Footscray midfielder Oscar Crino was making his second appearance also after a lengthy layoff. And his partnership with ex Socceroo Kenny Murphy gave the side much needed balance. One of the pleasing aspects was the amount of younger supporters in the crowd. However, they would have dreaded the start because Oscar Carino put Footscray ahead in the third minute. Foul against Graham Jennings. And a deep one, and there's Carino, and there it is off the line. No, it's in. A sensational goal. Carino was on the back post. He headed it in. It came off Franken, and I think Tapai was on the line to make sure of it. But I think the goal is being given to Oscar Crino. The Sydney Croatia players are arguing with the referee, but the goal will stand. So after just three. As you can see on the replay, the Croatia players' appeals were for offside against Ernie Tapai as Crino headed the ball. Like Moments later, Zoran Nikitovic quelled the Croatia attack. From Campbell, Robbie Slater looking for Arnold. And Nikitovic was there, a very good save. Nice build up. It was a bright opening, and in the 12th minute, Tony Franken also was busy. And Crino free again, and he plays it inside. Flicked on, and a great save by Franken. Lynch. Soon after, Croatia's Ante Remora was booked, and that booking was to play a major role in Croatia's chances of winning the match. Good challenge by Remora. Ramora looks like getting a booking now. Spink was all over Ramora then. Clinch. In the 22nd minute, Croatia put together the best move of the match. And Slater. Lamond. Arnold. Savo. Inside for Odzakov, nice build-up. Aimed inside and Nikitovic had to fist it away. Rezo puts it upfield again. Aiming for Arnold, James was there covering. And cleared away by James. Clinch. And then Graham Arnold almost did the trick. Pushed on by Arnold. Arnold, nice looking shot too. Oh. Referee Arthur Clinch. Owens was under a lot of pressure. And decisions like this didn't help matters. Nice ball for Jennings. Jennings, and it comes off. Still Jennings. Looked like he was tripped at the edge of the box. But he was unlucky not to win a free kick for a handball. And now Slater. tragedy struck the home team in the 32nd minute. Ramora well, appealed for a foul and, and was given through. his marching orders for back chatting. A move which incited a response from Good some sections of the ball. crowd. Rezo. Ramora will want to watch off. He's already got a yellow card. Ramora will be sent off. Ramora will be sent off on the cards, he shouldn't have gone looking for it. He was talking to the referees, being given the red card. Talking to the referee, he already had a booking. are not pretty ones here at the Croatian Sports Centre. One can understand the supporters' disappointment at being a goal down. Despite the setback, Manus Lamond almost leveled terms before the break. Clinch. 
Deep one, and Nikitovic missed it. Lamont was there just wide. Just wide, it took a deflection on the way through. For Murphy. But Footscray, aided by the extra player, made inroads in the second half. Lewich, nice looking cross and Spink with a header and a good save by Franken. In the 64th minute, the match was all but over. So Lewich with the corner. Tapai makes the run. Murphy missed it. And it looked like it came off the hand of Ravely Edstra. And it did. Tragedy for Sydney, Croatia. A penalty, the sub, Ravely Edstra, getting a hand to it to keep his team in the match. Edstra gets a yellow card. Now that really, unless he said something to the referee, that was accidental. So Bozanovsky. And he sends Franken the other way. 2 0. 2 0 Footscray, they lead. It was a hard uh, struggle out there from the word go. You know, we come here. Really, on the game, as I am disappointing on the referee. This Ata Oman, not only today, but in many years back, is the one who is make a lot of problem in our team, especially on this ground. And this block should be banned completely for the referee because he's not fit enough to rule to make the referee national league. If he can referee, he can referee only kids up to 16 years, that's all. It's pretty hard-hitting uh, words there, Mr. Basic. Uh, would you be considering protesting to the league about this? Of course I will, because I am last man to to get at any excuse by referee or anything, you know? But uh, by the way, handling game today, he should be on the panel of National League, not only, not even in a New South Wales State League. And what about the crowd disturbances? How did you see those? Well, I'm disappointed in the crowd, and especially whoever done because that is not good for the soccer but uh, people they coming in they support the club they put the money in and they got the right to watch the game and right to get their own opinion but all in all they can't throw the canes or beers or anything on the ground that is last what they can do because we don't want that in the soccer Marconi.